guys today we're going to talk about these these are universal plugs and as you can tell they're tapered they are fairly soft <clears throat> and the uh, idea is that you can uh, push them into a hydraulic line to keep it from leaking i've used them on and off for a while kind of a mixed bag um if there's a lot of if there's minimum pressure behind the line it's it, it, it sometimes will push it out uh, you can push them in really hard but then you start tearing this and then they kind of become useless as much as i hate to say it uh, metal caps is the way to go the metal caps uh, you carry yourself an assortment and you just push them in uh, it's just the way i feel about it metal caps the downside is they're heavy they add weight to the truck they uh, take up space uh, versus these you know this this right here should you know cover quite a range of uh hoses i guess from this is a number eight maybe all the way to maybe a 20. uh you know so you two of these uh, you would be able to you know eliminate for every size you need you need both a male and a female um <clears throat> and um they're pretty light and they're pretty flexible so I don't know, I, I, I just never really, really found them to be, you know, the cat's meow, they're okay. Um, do they come in handy? Meh, sorta, kinda, maybe in some situations, but not in most. So these are these orange hydraulic uh, plugs. Uh, maybe someone else has had better luck with them. Uh, I just, what, what really killed it for me was I had a hydraulic tank that didn't have a, a cutoff valve. So what I did, I um, disconnected the line and I pushed this in there and I waited like, I don't know, you know, while I loaded up to go get the hose made, 15, 20 minutes it took me to load up and I went to go look and it was still there. Um, and I just kind of had a feeling it wasn't gonna hold. So I did go ahead and I put uh, pig mat, the gray mat all around the machine. I did also put a duck pond uh, and so I left. And when I came back, <laughs> That sucker had popped out and it went all into the, uh, I, I guess about 60% of it went into the duck pond and the rest got absorbed by the pig mat. Luckily, I, I did that in advance, but had I not done that, we would have had trouble. Uh, anyway, uh, hey, by the way, if you guys don't already watch, uh, I would like to recommend Mid-Atlantic Tool. A uh, guy puts up videos pretty regularly showing different types of tools, nothing particular it is a not a particular brand either he just he's all over the road which i think is kind of nice mid-atlantic uh, tool you uh you know i'd like to you know cruise by his channel see what he has i think you might find it interesting thanks for watching